first of all, hey, you idiots. You idiots in Portland. Hey, I'm talking to you. We probably have a lot of people. A lot of the Antifa crowd from Portland probably listen to the show. So I want to talk <laughs> talk straight straight to them here. Hey, um, when you're when you're when you're really upset about racism and you're protesting racism, toppling the statue of the man that freed the slaves is probably not the <laughs> right. probably not the place to start. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not. I've never claimed to be a smart man. Um, I play one on the radio from time to time. But 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 toppling the statues of the man that freed the slaves when your biggest gripe is racial inequality and police brutality seems like a really rough place to start. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've been wrong once. It wasn't a Tuesday, but I... I... Well, he was Republican. <laughs> Come on, Zach. Catch up. I might as well... Hey, 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 Blinken might as well have been Donald go. Trump back in the day. <laughs> hey, he, he said, I can't tell a lie. I've heard Trump say that before. That's why we toppled it. He's a try. He's like Trump. My God, is Trump. Abe Trump. Y'all are some idiots. <laughs> Y'all, I'm talking about, I don't even understand. The level of stupidity astounds me. Can you believe these people are procreating, by the way? <laughs> They're reproducing. Such a wonderful thought. Like, yeah, everybody meets, yeah, everybody's met that guy. You've met that guy. And you're like, man, I really hope he doesn't have children. Mm-hmm. Man, I really hope he doesn't. They do. They're procreating. They're so clueless. I got into a little bit of a discussion with oh, someone that I worked during the good. day. No, I got into a discussion with somebody I worked with yesterday, and we were saying, you know, Happy Columbus Day, and they were like, Oh, oh right. here we go. Hey, hey, yeah. right, man, you know what Columbus did? Columbus came over here, and he was a racist, killed all them Indians and took their land. These people are already here. He didn't discover nothing. That is the same well, no. voice for about 10 or 15 it, different well, people. No, it's, it, it is the voice of the angry American. <laughs> yes, it, is. Yes. it is the angry American. It yes. encapsulates all of it's them. It's a burly Karen. That's exactly what it is. It's Ken, as you called him. No, it's, hey, hey, man, hey. It's that guy that thinks he's woke, that, that, you know, his mommy and daddy voted Republican forever, and he probably truly is a Republican, but he thinks he needs to say these things mm-hmm. because he works for a defense contractor now, and he can't, or he does. I mean, there's a hundred, I could, I could paint you a hundred pictures. Mm-hmm. That voice just happens to be that guy. Now, the voice doesn't really fit. I wish I had a better voice for it, but it just, it's the one that started, and it's the one that stuck. Well, this person literally was justifying how, like, exactly what you said. Yes. How horrible. And then I said, well, then there would be nothing we have. Because, sadly, the way the world has progressed. No, man, the Indians was going to do it, man. Hey, man, Indians were here first. They had a way of life. And and we'd all be wearing, living in a teepee, wearing a (laughs) loincloth. But but, but, but Columbus killed him. He was a racist. Like, are you, is this guy for real? Hey, guess what? He has children. That guy, angry American, has Mm -hmm. kids Mm -hmm. that are growing up to be angry.